post-colony. The term post-colony was first used by Achille Mbembe in his work on the post-colony published in 2001 to describe the sub-Saharan nation-states of Africa. Bemb uses the term to describe certain kinds of nation-states that, having achieved political independence, govern with inherited structures of violence and domination. Thus he draws attention not only to the legacies of colonialism, but also to contemporary figurations of these legacies. With respect to Africa, Bem argues that the system of governance and administration established by the European powers in African countries was not only about preparing a civil society, justice, sovereignty or political modernity for the colony. It also established a system of violence built into the very structures of governance. As a result, Bem argues, there is no possibility of political sovereignty in the post-colony, because governmentality is always already undermined, or at least underwritten, by the legacy of structural violence and the penchant for grand spectacles of authority and power by the ruling class. Although in Africa the post-colony is chaotically pluralistic, it has nonetheless an internal coherence. It is a specific system of signs, a particular way of fabricating simulacra or reforming stereotypes. It is not the economy of signs in which the power is mirrored and imagined self-reflectively. The post-colony is characterized by a distinctive style of political improvisation, by a tendency to excess and lack of proportion as well as by distinctive ways identities are multiplied, transformed, and put into circulation. The post-colony is a former colony whose present existence is very much informed by structures of violence and systems of thought that are legacies of its colonial past. The African subject has been dismembered, fragmented, and effectively rendered non-existent by the physical and psychic violence of slavery and colonization. These violences have been projected forward into the ongoing representations of Africa and Africans in the neo-colonial discourses of the post-colonial world. Bem's project is aimed towards a restorative goal, to restoring to Africans a sense of their wholeness, of their validity as autonomous African subjects.